Justin Mayo is the executive director of a nonprofit organization called Red Eye. He was given the keys to the Watts Community Center, which is at risk of being shut down. He wants to keep it open and make a place for all the kids in the community to go. We've been mentoring the kids every week for a little over 12 years in Watts housing projects. The average age of someone there is 21, and the largest group of people living there is the age group of 10 or younger. So basically, it's kids that are raising kids out there. Only 2.9% make it to college, and over 50% drop out of high school. Police statistics say there's 7,000 gang members within two miles of that specific location. We got to do something to help create a safe space. Yeah. So wow. I brought a couple photos of the facility so you could see the magnitude of what it's okay. looking like. Like one of their basketball hoops inside the gym, it was shot out three years. It's never been replaced. There's like mold growing on the walls. Like I see mice crawling oh. around. They have a little kitchen. The kitchen's falling apart. And we got to get them a better like computer lab. Because I've never one time seen a kid working on schoolwork. Yeah. I'm envisioning not just a community center, but actually something that's going to empower them. So what would you do with the field outside if they had an outdoor play area? Wouldn't yeah. that be good? Oh, it'd be incredible. There's endless possibilities. These kids are some of the most incredible genius kids. We just got to give them an opportunity.